standing there with a glass of cheap Canadian whiskey in one hand and a fake Cuban cigar in the other, right? Right. Now, you know, I'm not one to let women step all over me. So, I chug down the whiskey, I look the broad in the eye, and I say, Listen, bitch, you're 54 years old. You're morbidly obese. You got a lazy eye, and your breath smells like shit. And yet, you're turning me down for being too short? <laughs> so, what'd she say? Well, first she punched me in the face. Then she kind of knocks all my teeth out. But then I guess she thought I was funny or something, because she ended up taking me back to a trailer. Hope you used protection. Are you kidding me, boss? With the full-grown jungle I got growing down here in my crotch? <laughs> I hope for her sake, she used protection. Oh, hey, you got to make a left here. How you doing back there, Al Pinolo? <laughs> Look at him, the little fucker. He's so damn cute. <laughs> Bad. Bad. What'd you say that girl's name was again? Joe Beth Smalls. Joe Beth Smalls. Oh, that's right. Read me her letter again, will ya? I gotta get into the mood. Yeah, sure thing. <clears throat> Dear Santa. I think I've been a pretty good girl this year. I've done my homework every day. I've cleaned my room twice a week. I have baked cookies for the poor children down at the family center. And I have visited my mom at the hospital whenever I've had a chance. Yet, there's something I have to tell you. Not a single day goes by that I don't feel left out, unwanted, disgusting. At school, people are always talking dirt behind my back and pulling pranks on me. Alistair Romer is the worst one of all. He's hated me since grade school and has made my life hell ever since. You know, maybe if you wouldn't eat too much, you wouldn't be such a fat ass. Leave me alone, Alistair. Give it back to me. That's my lunch. Give it back to me. Shut the hell up. You want it? Okay. You asshole. What? Now listen to me, you piece of crap. Next time you call me an asshole, I'll treat your ass so bad, you'll have to spend your whole life in the hospital. Believe me, Santa, I've gone to the principal countless times. But since Alistair's dad has given a lot of money to the school, he's not very cooperative. Young lady, this is the fifth time you've been in my office this month. The fifth time. Now, I'm a very busy man, and I don't have time for this Mother Teresa bullshit. This is a public institution. Do you know what that means? It means that I have to single-handedly deal with gangs, unexpected pregnancies, and drug-addicted preteens every single day. Do you think I have time for fat girls who can't stand up for themselves? If you don't like it here, move to another goddamn school. So Santa, this year, because I think I deserve it, instead of candy and toys, I want nothing but revenge. So, M16 or AK-47? Uh, I say, fuck the commies. Good call. Promise to be the same deranged, psychotic, blood-craving bastard that you've always been. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> Santa? 
Shut the fuck up! You know, Joe Beth Smalls? <laughs> no? Oh, that's the wrong answer! Switzerland, didn't I tell you? Shut up about that already! Oh my god. What in the world is that? It looks like some sort of leprechaun. Baby boy's having a blast back there. <laughs> oh, he deserves it all right. Oh, Lord. Did I ever tell you how I lost my virginity? Several times. But that poor chicken. That chicken was a slut. Hey, look. <laughs> the pigs are on their way. <laughs> Two cars? Are you kidding me? They only send a two cars? Oh, don't worry about it. After we visit the principal, they're gonna send the whole fucking SWAT team! <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Freeze! What the hell are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing here? I'm working, you dumbass! Oh, great. Of all the houses in the world, we have to pick the same fucking one. Shh. You're gonna wake everyone up. What the hell do you think I'm doing here, you idiot? Oh, I should have known it was you. I can smell your car all the way from over here. Uh, how'd you like it if I shoved that Christmas tree right up your ass? Oh, goodness. would you just cut that out? Now, look. I know you're just doing your job. But I got here first, and I've got a lot to do. So I would greatly appreciate it if you and your group of scumbags just took off from here right now. No, you can't leave no presents here. Principal Benson, he deserves to be punished. But it's Christmas time. Everyone deserves a little joy, you sadistic prick. I beg to differ with ya. Now look. I'm not going to put up with all that bloodshed, if that's what you're implying. Tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to count to three. And you're going to disappear up that fucking chimney just as quick as you can. Because if you don't, you're going to be picking up your teeth with broken fingers. No, 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 you little man, you. I'm the one that's going to count to three. And if you're not out of here by then, I'm calling Mom. Mom?
What's up, boss? My brother, he's in there. He wants us out of here. Or he's gonna call mom. I hate that fucking guy. Watch it. He's still my brother. He thinks he's the shit. Just because he's got a flying sled. Oh, you're just mad because he fired you. That wasn't my fault. If only that Rudolph piece of shit had kept his mouth shut. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been building Barbie dolls with water squirting vaginas. Oh, as if kids these days don't know what a sausage wallet looks like. Besides, did you know Rudolph's a junkie? <laughs> he's a reindeer, for Christ's sakes. He has hooves. Oh, he's one crafty motherfucker. He shoots up in the nose. That's why it's so red all the time. Honestly, I think your brother should use llamas instead. I'm gonna ask you one more time, mister. Who are you and what do you want? I told you I'm Father Christmas, you idiot. <laughs> I come here to bring joy to you and to your family. You can't treat me like this. I don't have to call the cops, you know. It's my right as an American to blow you away right now. Drop your fucking gun! What the hell is this? Some kind of Christmas-themed gang? Well, well, just so you know, I'm not afraid to call for help! Help! Police! You still want to help this cocksucker? Hell, hell no! Destroy the son of a bitch! Help! 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 Dear Joe Beth, I've got news for you. You see, me and the elves, we paid your friend Alistair a visit last night. And he promised that from now on, he'll be very, very good to you. In fact, well, he's willing to help you with anything that you need. So just let him know if you ever want him to clean up your room, or if you need an extra hand carrying your books. Don't worry about Principal Benson either. We had a chat with him too. <laughs> that aside, I really hope that you have a, a wonderful year and you make sure that you keep on visiting your mom as much as you already do because now she needs your love more than ever. So you keep up the good work. And, well, Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.